Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to day four of Time Lapse Week Mark Two. So in today's time lapse, I'm making a painting for Alfred and the Chipmunks, um, which is pretty cool. So I hope you enjoy that. And you can probably tell right now, uh, as I'm talking during the video, I got some narration back for today. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I was able to work it out. Uh, so I hope you'll enjoy that. Uh, so yeah. Um, so this is actually my 100th time lapse video on the channel, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so because of that, uh, with this time lapse, I'm releasing a little bit of a, a bonus uh, time lapse for you guys that will be annotated on the top of the screen. It's unlisted, so you can only get to it uh, by a link. Um, so you won't be able, to, so you won't find it on my channel homepage. So it's just kind of a special thing for this if you're watching this video. Um, so that's gonna be cool. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until you actually see it. And that's just gonna be a little fun for this time lapse. So yeah. Uh, so you saw there just before. Um, I finished up covering the canvas or foam board in the orange tape, uh, so that's gonna be the background for this painting, which is pretty nice. So right there, and then I start cutting out the uh, the black outlines for all the ch uh, all the chipmunks, and that's right on the painting right now. As you can see, it's pretty cool. And you can see all three of them are right there, being ready to work on uh, Alvin's shirt. I'm just gonna be cutting that out. Uh, see, I had some troubles with this painting uh, working on it towards the end. Uh, some like some of the pieces for their eyes uh, kind of lost, so that kind of annoyed me a little bit. But I got through it thankfully. I was able to get this time lapse out for you guys. Uh, so yeah. Um, so uh, next tomorrow's time lapse is going to be for Etho or Etho's Lab. Uh, he's another Minecracker or another player on the Minecraft server, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm getting a lot of uh, requests for uh, different Minecrackers uh, since I tweeted out that video to pause and pause, and I got like a huge burst of. Uh, subscribers and views on that one video and just a bunch of requests for that kind of stuff have come in so that's pretty awesome uh, so I'm gonna be doing some different minecrafters uh, and minecrackers coming up soon so look out for that I hope you enjoy that uh, so yeah so like I said tomorrow's gonna be Etho so that's gonna be fun uh, I'm probably gonna be do I'm probably gonna do generic B after that so that'll be fun uh, and if any of you guys are fans of Hermitcraft, I was thinking maybe I could do some of the Hermits uh, that'd be cool so let me know about that if you think that's a cool idea uh, so yeah, uh, so right there, but you can see I just finished up um, uh, working on finishing up Alvin's shirt right there. Just working on the, uh, I guess it's, it's kind of like a turtleneck or something of his uh, of his shirt. Uh, so that's on there pretty often. A little bit of slur there, um, but yeah, I just made that quick cut right there, so I uh, so you didn't have to watch me. Be, uh, so you didn't have to watch me cutting out all those shirts uh, or all the uh, shirts for the chipmunks. Uh, so I got Simon's and. Uh, Oh, I had I just had his name, uh, Theodore. I just had both their shirts done uh, uh, through that cut. Um, so right now I'm working on the A on Alvin's shirt. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, so the ones, that, so this image I'm using right now is from the animated series uh, of Alvin the Chipmunks. Uh, I, this I thought would work out better than trying to actually do the uh, the characters from the live action movies, because uh, that would have been really hard to do since there's no really uh, separation lines to all the different. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain it, but it'd just be kind of impossible to do something like that, uh, for me anyway. Uh, so I, I thought I'd stick with doing something from the old animated series, which I thought uh, turned out pretty cool. Uh, so yeah. Um, so right now I'm actually I'm working on cutting out uh, their hands right now. And actually, partially through, partial, uh, part way through this, I uh, realized that I forgot to... Uh, well, actually, not part way. At the end, when I finished this, I realized I didn't put uh, detail on uh, Alvin's hands, so... Uh, I did that off camera and you'll get to see the full finished thing with the detail I missed uh, at the end of the video. I also missed some of their, uh, I also missed their noses so the, the painting looked kind of weird without that. Uh, so I fixed that and you'll see that later on. It's pretty cool. Uh, so right now I'm getting ready to start working on their heads. Uh, so for the skin tone I'm just using the Cookie Dough Beige from Duck Brand. Um, I thought that color would match the, the skin tone or the uh, tone of their fur I guess you'd say. Uh, matched it pretty well. Um, I would, I kind of would have wanted to use the brown, but that's just a little bit too dark for what I thought would uh, match this. Uh, so I stuck with the uh, Guido Beige. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. And I actually used a lot of pen in this to give uh, some, uh, to give like the strands of fur or hair, or whatever you want to call it, like uh, up towards the top of their head, um, more detail instead of cutting out everything in duct tape just to save time or uh, not to make it too hard to get it on the painting. Pretty cool. It's one of the hardest ones, I'd say. Uh, yeah, Simon was the uh, Simon Space was the hardest out of all because it was in a, it was in I think two or three pieces or a couple a couple pieces. And see, as the glasses on, it's kind of separate from different pieces are separated because the glass uh, the glasses frames uh, or the glass frames. I'm really not sure how you use that in a sentence, but whatever. <laughs> 
Um, yes, yeah, so right there you can see I'm working on uh, Alvin's head right now. I had to rearrange his hat and uh, make sure everything was in place. And so I got that worked out and that uh, looks cool. So, so, yeah. so right now I'm getting ready to put on the doors. And his is pretty easy. Uh, there's nothing else surrounding him, just his head, uh, just his head there. And now uh, you can see that uh, Simon's is in a few pieces. I'm just putting the top of it right, uh, the top of his head on right now. Uh, and you can see right where the uh, where the frames of the glasses are going to be. So that's why it's in so many pieces right there. Um, so that uh, the guy was the hardest one out of all of them, I think, for faces. Uh, the most complex one for the entire character, I'd say, was Alvin. Uh, he had a little bit more detail, like with his hat or something in the A on his uh, on his shirt. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I just made a cut there real quick. I actually forgot what I made that cut for. Uh, from back. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so right now I'm working on, I believe I'm working on cutting out the white, the white parts of their eyes. Uh, yeah, I actually lost some of uh, uh, Simon's. Uh, I, uh, the, I lost a piece for Simon's eye, so I had to freehand that one. Uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. I did my best. I could, I uh, did the best I could to actually match it to the image. Um, so I finally was able to get that. Oh yeah, <laughs> now I remember. I made the cut because I had to stop recording and go get the image off the, uh, one of our other, uh, off our other. Mm, off our other computer uh, so I could uh, get it on mine and bring it up so I was able to get that to work out for me uh, so I could copy it off there and freehand it thankfully uh, so yeah I'm usually not the best at freehanding but I think I was able to get it to work out uh, so right there I'm, I'm just putting pen on Simon's uh, shirt because I actually forgot to put his hand on before and I was doing the rest of the hands and the rest of the skin t uh, skin pieces or fur pieces for everyone to call um, so once I finally got that worked out I just, uh, just did that now so right now I'm just using a bunch of pen to give detail to the entire painting, or the, uh, the, uh, to all the characters I can say in their shirts. Uh, honestly, it's been a while since I've gotten to narration again, so sorry about that if I'm kind of rambling or trying to going off topic uh, really fast, so apologize for that. And so yeah, um, actually one thing I just thought I want to mention is that uh, after I mentioned that thing from Pause and Paws, my sub, sub count did like really jump up. Uh, I mentioned that la I mentioned that yesterday uh, in the time of for Skylanders Giants, um, so that was pretty cool. Um, so actually, uh, one of my mention, I'm actually almost now this is just mind blowing to me, and I can't believe I'm about to say it. I'm actually almost to 600 subscribers just from that one, uh, just from uh, sharing that one video with the Minecraft I made it for. Um, so that was pretty insane. And I think I'm at 581 subscribers right now. Uh, so that's truly crazy I mean I can't I can't thank and welcome you guys enough who have come over from Pause and Pause or seeing his tweet uh, so that's seriously awesome uh, so yeah so I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the videos so far it's pretty cool uh, so yeah so you saw that I just made a cut I'm actually I was actually not looking over at the screen for some reason which I really shouldn't be uh, so I actually missed what I was doing beforehand just talking there I guess <laughs> Um, so actually, so right now I'm just working on the uh, uh, black pieces or the black outlines for uh, uh, for Alvin and uh, Theodore's eyes. Uh, so yeah, thankfully they didn't lose those pieces, so I didn't have to freehand them, and they came out pretty well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so right now I'm actually uh, cutting out the white pieces for uh, uh, for their teeth. Uh, which that was a little, was a little bit, dang it, man, I'm being really tongue tied today. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was a little bit. It was kind of a small challenge to get them uh, cut out as small as they are and get them lined up, but yeah, it wasn't really that tough. I guess I'm just looking for stuff to say. Um, so yeah, I'm working on that right now. Uh, should be. I think next I'm gonna be cutting out the uh, the white parts of their eyes. Uh, yeah, just getting all the pieces there that I actually have left. Uh, actually, I did lose uh, one of Alvin's eye piece, uh, one of the pieces for Alvin's eyes, so I had to freehand one of his as well. <laughs> Uh, it was kind of hard to keep track of all the uh, all the little pieces that were coming off of this and where they were going with my cutting mat. So you, as you can see right now, the camera is fairly cluttered, um, so I, it's hard for me to keep things organized and straight when I'm working on this kind of stuff. And that's it. Yeah. Um, so right now, you, I, I just think I just finished putting on all the uh, white pieces to their eyes. Uh, yeah, uh, so now I'm working on the actual. Uh, I guess I guess I think I believe that they're called irises, which is the color for your eye. I might be wrong on that, that's what I've heard, so. Uh, so I'm working on that right now. It was actually hard for me to get some of the, uh, some of the, uh, some of those blue pieces along for their eyes. 
Uh, it was, for some reason, this didn't, some of them would not line up correctly, and I realized that I had them on the wrong, uh, on the wrong character, so that kind of, uh, that kind of screwed my, with my mind a little bit, until I got it right. Uh, so I just cut this, you know, I just did a cut this, you know, see putting all, uh, all the pieces onto their eyes. And so you saw a quick look right there. Uh, if you want to see what that looks like up close, you can just pause the video right at that moment when I put the painting up to the screen, uh, if you want to get a good look before the end. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, YouTube used to have an option where you could uh, uh, pause, where you could pause the video for a certain amount of time, and then it would play again. I tried finding that for some videos, but I think they got rid of it, which kind of stinks. Uh, if any of you guys know what, uh, if any of you guys do YouTube videos and you know where that is, uh, let me know. I'd like to know where that is because I've been wanting to use it for some stuff uh, when I actually when I want to pause something so uh, you guys can just take a quick look at something. So I thought that'd be cool. Let's uh, see. So yeah. So right now I'm getting uh, ready to work on their shoes. Um, it's pretty, from what it looked like on the picture, it was kind of like the bottom, the soles of their shoes were white and then uh, the top part of the shoes were kind of like a grayish color, but looking at the painting, uh, looking at the picture, it's kind of like a shadow over the white part, or over the white on the shoe. So I just made both, both pieces of the shoe white, so yeah, you'll see that later on, or in a few, a few minutes here. Um, uh, so right now I'm just working on all the colored parts of the shoes. Uh, this I actually I had to free in some of these as well because uh, for some reason nothing would line up. So I had a lot of trouble with uh, losing pieces and uh, things not lining up, so I had to free in a lot of stuff. So, uh, but either way, it still turned out pretty cool. All right, guys. So about that quick cut in the narration, there was actually I was getting a little bit of sound lag from it, but not too bad that I couldn't put the narration. So that's why that cut was there. Uh, but yeah, but I was just going to say we're getting ready to hit the end of the time lapse here. Uh, so it was fairly long, around 12 minutes, not too bad. Hope you guys don't mind that. Uh, so right here you can see the real-time look of the entire painting, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, I added the detail to their noses and everything, Alvin's hands looks good. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this time, uh, day four of Timeless Week. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow for the Etho time lapse. So hope you enjoyed, and as always, just enjoy the one of those duct tape. Yeah,